France is intensifying its focus on kinetic air defense technologies, particularly those using 30mm and 40mm calibers, to strengthen its defenses against the growing drone threat. French military leadership recently reaffirmed this priority, citing artillery-based solutions as a cost-effective alternative to traditional missile interceptors like the Mistral. On July 9, 2025, General Jerome Bellinger, head of the Air and Space Force, addressed lawmakers to emphasize the importance of affordable and responsive ground-based defense options for securing airfields and critical infrastructure. French defense contractors are simultaneously developing two types of weapon systems tailored for this purpose, a lightweight, mobile 30mm platform, and a more robust 40mm solution that leverages case telescoped ammunition. The dual-track development strategy ensures operational flexibility across various threat environments. The 30mm system is being integrated into the Serval CUAV configuration, a counter-drone variant of the Serval Light Armored Vehicle. Outfitted with the ARX-30 remote turret from KNDS France, this system features the 30M781 cannon, a derivative of the aircraft-grade GIAT-30 gun. This turret fires programmable rounds designed to detonate mid-air, creating a fragmentation burst that disables small drones. The vehicle also incorporates a 3D radar and radio frequency sensor to autonomously detect and engage aerial threats. With a strike range of up to 2 kilometers, the Serval CUAV is optimized for rapid deployment to protect mobile units and convoys. France has already ordered 24 of these vehicles, with an option for 24 more under current defense planning laws, with fielding slated to begin in 2028. For more extensive protection zones, the French military is fielding the Rapid Fire System, a 40mm solution developed through a partnership between KNDS France and Thales. This platform employs the CT-40 cannon and is available in several formats, including naval installations and land-based variants mounted on 6x6 and 8x8 vehicles, as well as containerized modules. Already operational aboard Navy support ships like the BRF Jacques Chevalier, Rapid Fire is built to neutralize unmanned aerial vehicles, light aircraft, and surface threats at distances up to 4 kilometers. Each cannon can fire 200 rounds per minute, and the systems carry between 70 and 140 ready-to-use rounds. The land version entered service in 2025, with 14 units ordered and 34 more potentially to follow. Ground-based rapid-fire systems are being prioritized for the protection of airfields and logistics hubs. CTA International, a joint venture between BAE Systems and KNDS France, manufactures the 40mm ammunition. The French government has ensured domestic production capacity by distributing output across facilities in multiple regions including Haute Savoy and Manche. In June 2025, a contract was signed for the delivery of 25,000 rounds, including both combat and training variants, valued at 150 million euro over five years. Production is scheduled to increase to 30,000 rounds annually from 2027, ensuring availability for both Rapid Fire and the EBRC Jaguar combat vehicle fleet. The CT-40 ammo family includes armor-piercing, general purpose, and airburst variants, all designed for efficient storage and smooth loading thanks to the telescope design and rotary feed system. Though each caliber has distinct tactical applications, the 30mm and 40mm solutions are designed to work in tandem. The Serval CUAV, with its high fire rate and mobility, excels in neutralizing swarming drones at close range. Meanwhile, the 40mm rapid fire system provides superior range, multi role munition capability, and protection for static or strategic targets. Together, they offer a scalable, non-missile-based alternative that supports a layered air defense doctrine alongside missile systems like VL MICA. These kinetic systems form a core part of the 2024-2030 military programming law, which has earmarked 500 million euros for air defense modernization in 2025 alone. This funding also supports future technologies such as directed energy weapons and integrated command architectures that span land, sea, and air domains. General Thierry Burkhardt, France's top defense officer, stressed the need for diverse air defense solutions capable of countering the increasing use of drones in conflict zones like the Red Sea and Black Sea. 
He noted that adversaries are exploiting lawless environments to launch low-cost, high-impact drone operations, which demands France enhance its own multi-layered and mobile defense capabilities. Looking ahead, major military exercises such as Orion 2026 will test the operational deployment of these systems, focusing on cross-service coordination, fire control integration, and fast-reacting kill chains. The goal is to ensure French forces remain agile, protected, and lethal in a landscape where drones have become ubiquitous tools for surveillance, attacks, and disruption. Incidents in recent years, like over 350 unauthorized drone flights recorded by the U.S. military in 2024 alone, underscore the urgency of this shift. Bases in Europe and North America have become regular targets for drone intrusions, raising alarms about espionage, vulnerabilities, and delayed response times. These trends are even more acute in combat zones, where drones are routinely used for reconnaissance, munition delivery, and electronic deception. As drone capabilities evolve, France is pushing forward with layered, kinetic air defense systems to stay one step ahead.